Hey, welcome back YouTubers. This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas. Back with another tutorial on how to ignite your editing. Today I'm going to be going over the Vertigo, aka the Dolly Zoom effect. I'm about to break that down for you. It's a really, really trippy effect. It's awesome and it's really easy to do using Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get it. Now, off rip, I want to shout out to the legendary Alfred Hitchcock, the legendary director. He created this effect back in the day. So I had to pay homage. And you can see it now used in numerous short films, movies, commercials. Um, music videos, you name it. It's a very, very, very popular effect. It looks great. And also, um, I want to warn you guys, like, when you're filming this video or filming this scene and trying to get the most out of it, you're going to want to film your subject using some type of stabilization, whether it's, it's a dolly or, in my case, I use the DJI Ronin. Um, I also use the DJI Osmo, that stabilization camera. Or even if you use a glide cam, use something that's going to give you a steady shot because the more steady it is, the better it's going to look. And also keep in mind, rule of thumb, this will only work well if you film moving forward and backwards. This is not going to look cool side to side. So either film your subject moving forwards or moving backwards. Now let's jump back into business. Right now I'm going to use... The scene of my best friend, Coach Rock, from I Love Basketball TV. You might have heard of him, you know. I actually filmed this using a DJI Osmo during the summer. And it's him dribbling down the alley. I'm going to go ahead and cut this real quick. It's him jumping down, uh, dribbling the ball down the alley. What we're going to do is I'm going to come down to this drop menu right here now. It might be different in your Final Cut Pro. I'm using 10.2 something I think um, I know 10.3 came out but I'm faking and I don't like upgrading my programs like that because I've had some problems in the past so I stick to what I know 10.2 is working great for me so I work with the work so bear with me but I'm gonna go ahead and drop that down to 50% I'm gonna slow this down like that and it's pretty stable for the most part but I'm going to make it even more plush and I'm going to come over here same drop down menu I'm going to I'm going to come down to video quality and I'm going to do optical flow and what that's going to do is that's going to really make that super super crisp just like that let's go ahead and add that vertigo effect so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the beginning of the scene and we're going to come down to this menu right here video and we're going to work in transform and now there's an arrow here for scale and you're going to click down and we're going to be working with the x and y axis so we're technically adding a keyframe now right here we're going to hit add a keyframe and that's going to select all these for you at the beginning now we're going to go ahead and drag this all the way to the end of the scene and we're going to click the same thing um, under scale. We're going to click that. Now, since I'm moving backwards while filming, we're going to scale up at the end. So at the end, we're actually going to scale it up. I'm going to scale it to mm, about 180. And then the beginning is going to be 100%. I'm going to come up here to modify and I'm going to render all and it's going to speed up this rendering process. Now that I'm all rendered, you look back at the scene and playback, you can see that vertigo effect looking real cool, looking real trippy. Uh, now that was me filming moving backwards. Let's jump into me filming moving forward. Now again, I'm going to use my bro. Coach Rock again in the scene and let me go ahead and shout out I Love Basketball TV. I am, if you didn't know, I am the official director and video editor over there. I do all their visuals and edit them and we're like almost at a million subscribers over there. I think we're at like 930,000 so if you ain't hip, go check I Love Basketball TV out. 
Coach Rock, best basketball trainer out. You already know. All right, now I'm done with that plug. Let's get back to business, for real, for real. All right, so in this scene, I'm zooming up on them, and we're going to do the vertigo effect. Same thing as we did in the other one, except it's going to be the opposite since I'm moving forward. So we're going to do the slow motion and slow that down. Come down here, and the video quality, I'm going to make optical flow again. Just like that. Now for the fun part, come over here, and we're going to add a scale at the beginning. Again, we're going to go under transform, add the keyframe, come down to the bottom, add the keyframe as well. Now in the beginning, we're going to actually scale it up. We're going to scale up in the beginning this time. And I'm going to do, play around with it. Um, I'm going to do 171. It's going to go down to 100. So look at that playback. That looks cool, but actually going to do 182. I'm going to let this render out. And there it is. That's a perfect scene right there. Coach Rock is standing still and it looks like the world around him is moving while he stands still and there you have it that was the vertigo aka the dolly zoom effect really trippy effect looks really cool i hope this video and tutorial was helpful and if it was helpful for you guys please hit that like button for me and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button as well because i have tons and tons and tons of new content and video editing breakdowns and all that good stuff coming to the channel in the upcoming weeks. I'm trying to stay consistent and I'm building this channel from the ground up. So thank you for all the support so far. And as always, like I always said, go out and ignite. Ignite your day, ignite your passion, ignite your life. Spark that interest. Go out there and create. See you.